on the second day of our catamaran training, we sailed from Trogir over the Blue Lagoon to Rogoznica, where we anchored for the night. Rogoznica is a popular tourist village on the Dalmatian coast in Croatia that lies in the southernmost part of the Šibenik Knin county, in a deep bay sheltered from wind, about 30 kilometers from Šibenik. It is occasionally called Šibenska Rogoznica to distinguish it from Lokva Rogoznica, another tourist resort in Dalmatia. It was overwhelming. In the evening we cooked a nice dinner in the spacious galley before we had our anchor beers. We saw a really nice sundown and had the next sundown hours. Hick. As we mentioned before, we didn't have much wind, so we did motor sailing most of the time. We had a lot of fun to hang our legs into the water while sitting on the platforms. The water was cool and refreshing. There are over a thousand islands in Croatia, the exact number varying by definition, and they cover a total area of about 3,300 square kilometers, which is 1,300 square miles. The number and classification of islands in Croatia varies over time and by different measurements, causing some domestic controversy when discrepancies are found. Croatia has not only over 1000 islands, it also has 8 national parks, 11 nature parks, over 6000 km of coastline and 7 world heritage sites. We sailed the whole day along the coastline from Rogoznica to Primosten. Primosten is a part of the Šibenik Knin county too. It is situated in the south between the cities of Šibenik and Trogir on the Adri Adriatic coast. Primosten is famous for its huge and beautiful vineyards. A photo of the vineyards of Primosten hung in the United Nations Center in New York. Apart from its vineyards, Primosten is also known for the traditional donkey race that takes place there every summer.
We had a great dinner at a local restaurant that evening. We had chavapchachi and pizza. Wow, we didn't know that the Croatians make such good pizza. The largest beach in Primosten is called Raduca and its smaller part, Mala Raduca, is voted one of the 10 most beautiful beaches in Croatia. The area's vineyards are currently under consideration to become a UNESCO World Heritage Site. The very next morning we did a little shopping in a local supermarket, raised the anchor and set its sails towards the city of Murta. For lunch, we dropped the anchor at a small island and trained to tie up to mooring boys. After lunch, Anne and I got into the dinghy to make a short tour around the area. We rounded a small uninhabited island with crystal clear water. After stowing the dinghy, we left to the next destination, the city of Murta. We had a nice sail. The island is in the northwest part of the Sibenik archipelago, separated from the mainland by a 20 meter wide sea canal at Tisno, which is spanned by a short drawbridge. The island covers an area of about 18.7 square kilometers and the highest point is the peak of Raduc at 125 meters above sea level. The southwestern coastline is predominantly steep, slopes divided by many sandy coves. The island has lots of rocky beaches as well as several sandy ones. We saw a fisherman mending his net, which was torn by a dolphin. We have never seen that before.
another gorgeous sunset and the next morning we woke up early to sail to Biograd. Some parts were really shallow so we had to pay attention to have enough water under the keels. Around noon we stopped for a swimming stop. Attila and Jos jumped right into the very cold water, but they had fun, as you can see. Arriving in Biograd Marina, we did so many docking exercises, so many. In between boats, where the space in between was really tight, alongside of other boats. We learned a lot and in the near future we will charter different boats to get more experiences. Although we want to try different models from different brands to be clear which brand suits us best. This is of a high importance as it is similar to buying a house. It is supposed to be our home on the seven seas. Well guys, we're coming to the end of part 2 of our holiday in Croatia 2018 in April and we hoped you liked it. We didn't want to leave without showing you our favorite pictures of the holiday and announcing what we will do next. In our next video we will test sail the Lagoon 50 in Neustadt in Holstein and of course we will document that for you. So please hit the subscribe button if you haven't done it yet and we are more than welcome for any constructive critics so leave your comments below and uh, we will try to get better as we're still beginners we need critics thanks fair winds peace and love to all of you